distracted as last night I saw a chameleon and I think I've just seen it again this is so cool I have indeed <laughs> Yay, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. So last night I drove past you and I found a chameleon and here it is. Look at this. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm so surprised. So it's just hiding behind all of the leaves. And what we'll do is we'll actually get James to come and have a look here because uh, it's quite nice with the bushwalk camera. But can you see it, Senzo? Isn't that incredible? Beautiful big flap neck chameleon out here. And I'm going to try and get Herbie's attention. There's Herbie over there. But how cool is that? Just sitting in the tree, but while you're looking there, if you can tell James, Rebecca, that I've got a chameleon for him, although he's pacing towards us. I can't believe we managed to relocate it. So I drove past here earlier this morning thinking to myself, uh, I must remember to see if I can find a chameleon because I know they don't move too far, especially on a tree like what we've got here, this um, and it's perfect camouflage. You can see it's blended in absolutely spectacularly. It's actually quite dark in color. So I don't know if it's too happy that it's been spotted. But how cool is that? It almost matches the shade. Oh, well, well the color of the leaves as they're in. We can try and find them over the day. But... Can we have a look at his tail, please, Senzo? I know he's just peering through there. Look how dark he's going. Watch his tail. It's actually holding on at the moment. If you, I think, can if you go a little bit further to the right? I don't know if you can see the tip. No, you can't. It's hidden behind the leaves. But it was. it's actually curled around just behind those leaves there, holding on very tight. And that's the one thing that I think is so amazing about a chameleon. Hi, James. Hi. How was your climb this morning? So nice. I'm so glad to see that you didn't die. I'm also glad I didn't die. <laughs> can you see the chameleon? Now let's see if James can find it. This is going to be a fun game. I found it here last night, so I cheated. And then I thought, and I, st I slammed on brakes as I was talking about elephants going, let me see if I can remember where the chameleon is. Can't the chameleon, Senzo? Don't tell him. <laughs> Herbie, you can see it already, hey? Yeah. I told you. Herbert's got the greatest eyes. I was just complimenting you on your eyes, Herbie, also, and saying, James, it's moving, so it might give you a clue. It's moving. Yeah, but you've got to come and stand where I am. I'll help you out. Am I getting hot or cold? Okay, we're going to play this game. Marco, Paolo. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's in the tree there somewhere. No, it's, yes. It's moving, you say. It is moving. I hate this so much. It's so hard. It's so embarrassing. You can do it to me next time. But I promise you it's one of the most amazing things to be able to try and spot a chameleon in a tree. You've got it. I haven't. I've, I had a leaf. You're hot. You're pretty hot. Then now you're even hotter. I've got it. You've got it. <laughs> James is staring straight at it. Okay, James, I'm going to leave you with the chameleon. I'm going to go and look for some elephants, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. How cool is that, though? We'll let the bushwalk team play with the chameleon. Enjoy, gentlemen. Bye. We'll see you later. Uh, that Hassan is just there as well. Okay, right, let's go. How cool was that to find a chameleon though? Something pretty amazing. Oh, just dropping all sorts of things on the, in the footwell of the car. I'm not sure it's gonna help us having this free camera moving around because this chameleon is in some very, very thick bush. But it is quite pretty, Dave. You, actually, you know what, you'll get a lovely view from here. If you come and stand exactly where I am, I'll move around this way. Can you see it through there? Yeah. Should be moving towards you now. You got him there. Mm. You see my hand? Yes. It's just in front of my hand. Moving now towards you in full charge. You cannot see it I've at all. Dave's got him now. Well done, David. Now, of course, their major predators are the boom slung, the hornbill, or any bird that eats meat will eat a chameleon. But the boom slung, or tree snake, is a large consumer of chameleon. Now, to find a chameleon, as you can see, is not very easy. And yet the boom slung, with its outlandishly sized eyes, is, well, more than capable of slithering up into a tree like this in amongst the thorns doesn't affect it at all 
and then biting the chameleon with its nasty hemotoxic venom, which then renders the blood of the chameleon unable to coagulate, and so it hemorrhages from everywhere, internally and externally. What a way to go. And tree snake, of course, is the most venomous snake in Africa. Poor little chameleon being hunted like that. One eye is looking at me, one eye is looking at David, and you can see its little feet. It's astonishing mobility, flexibility. And it can turn those feet either way. And they always look so miserable, you know, they've got those downturned mouths that make them look like David when I woke him up this morning. <laughs> Very sort of miserable indeed. You still got him there, Dob? Yep. And he yeah, looks so yeah. sad. You can see him from here if you'd like to try. Rebecca says even though he looks cool, at least he looks miserable, he still looks very cool. I agree, Rebecca, he looks swell. You've got a decent view that time, Jay. Yeah, not bad. Come over, try it over here. And he's changing colour as he comes into the sunlight. That's quite amazing, actually. I'll point to him with my stick. He's just up there. Can you see him there? I'll push through here. Can you see the stick? Yes. He's just underneath the stick. And he's turned a very dark shade. He's turned exactly the same colour as the exposed leaves in the tree. Can you see him there, Dad? You lost him. I don't blame you, it's not surprising. He's uh, quite difficult to see. I can't see him this side either. <laughs> I've lost him. Let me come back that side. Hang on a sec. Sorry, everybody. Sorry about this. Let's see if we can find him again. He went up here. <laughs> this is... This is deeply, deeply embarrassing. Anyway, he obviously didn't want to be seen by us anymore. So I think we'll head across to Byron, who has managed to find himself nothing.